Then we have what I think is the star of the clutch, simply because it's something I've wanted to see for a long time. And this guy really is being shy. Look at that ringer. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another vlog. We have a really cool vanilla cream clown clutch, which is something you don't see a lot of these days. It's a really neat interaction between the vanilla and the fire, which makes a vanilla cream. And then in the clown, it brings a whole new level of pattern to it, very, very different. So we're gonna check that out. We get the cool egg cutting, the reveal, but this time we're actually gonna start with the two parents. We're gonna look at the mom and the dad, and you can see how these genes interacted, how we got from base all the way to some of these crazy clown combos, and then see what they look like. So let's dive in. So we're gonna start with the mom. This is just a vanilla cream het clown, and she is so pretty. When we made her, it's, I don't know what year was it, let's see what year this was. It was 2015 when we made her. She probably was the first vanilla cream het clown. What a powerhouse. She's got an incredible ringer there on her tail, which a lot of vanilla creams do that. A lot of the, you start getting fire and vanilla, or even super fire, of course, is, is a pure white snake you start running into those ringers, which gives it a really neat look. And they age extremely well. She's so light colored. A lot of, a lot of ball python combos darken with age, but vanilla creams in this complex all lighten with age. And here's dad to the clutch. ODYB fire spot nose clown. And look at all that ringering and stuff that's going on there. Incredible combo, really happy with how this guy turned out. We ended up making this, I think almost three years ago, we made three males, all looked identical, and uh, turned out to be just absolute powerhouses. Spot nose give it so much, so much cool pattern and great, great color to this animal, really, really cool. Okay, so last year we talked about the way we made an orange dream vanilla cream clown. It turned out really, really cool. I don't know if we were making videos at the moment that we made that, so it may be the first time you're seeing it, but it's actually lightened up so much with age. It turned out really neat, so I thought it'd be cool to see that as an almost adult version. So when this girl first hatched, I initially thought it was orange dream yellow belly. Uh, vanilla cream clown just because it has a lot of belly tracking and everything but as it's aged I really believe it's just orange dream vanilla cream and look how much is lightened with age it is so bright so clean now and she's about 1200 grams or so headed the right way maybe before long we'll actually breed her and find out exactly what she has make some new new combos with her all right so let's go check out the babies from that pair well first of all check this out all those open tubs are males we just put in with all these females over here really digging into the breeding season very excited about this season. Very excited about what it, what it holds. Hopefully you get a little taste of it early on and just get better and better. So here we have a vanilla cream het clown to a ODYB fire spot nose clown. A spot nose vanilla cream clown is what we're looking for. And we have one head out here. We got a, a bad egg that was so stuck I couldn't pull it apart. I usually just leave bad eggs. It doesn't, honestly doesn't hurt anything. We have one super fire combo here, head out. So that's super, super fire het clown or super fire clown. We can't tell because it's an all white snake. But it, uh, it's always cool to see a uh, pure white head sticking out there. Hopefully we don't get too many of those though because we want to get snakes where we can tell what genes are in them. See what we're looking at. So that looks like a uh, vanilla yellow belly or a fire yellow belly. It's gonna be hard to tell in the egg. Typically vanillas and fires are both have a very similar look but fires are more extreme looking than a single gene vanilla. So you can kind of tell them that way, but it's not always eating a lot of combos. But that's cool. That's a vanilla cream clown right there. Wow, I would say that's a fire, yeah, fire vanilla clown, so a vanilla cream clown. I would say that's yellow belly too. Not spot nose, I don't think. Can you guys see that a little bit again? That's so pretty. That's really neat. Okay, so already have a really nice snake in the clutch. Yellow belly vanilla cream clown, boss OD. Mm. 
Here's a vanilla cream as well. Wow. Look at those flames. That is cool. This is turning out to be exactly what I was hoping for. I still don't think spot knows, unless I just don't know how to ID spot knows well in these combos. Look at that. This one, this one may not be clown. I don't know, it's more of a stripe than a black back, if you see that off the top. But unless I'm just, again, misinterpreting it. I'd like to see a head, that would tell you everything you need to know right there. As soon as you see a head, clown heads are hard to mistake. That's a clown. You can see the head right there. That is cool. Man, we're really nailing the odds here. Another vanilla cream clown. I really wanted one of these to be spot nose, but I'm not sure that, that one of them is not. I just don't know how to. I need to get them all out, you know, spread out, looking at exactly the differences between them. Unless I see something that looks just wildly different in the egg, which I was hoping that that spot nose would make it wildly different, but. It's like a fire spot nose clown of some sort. Let's see if we pull these apart. Might just leave that one alone. We know it's a white snake. It's not disturbing too much. Really good odds so far. Really happy. Another vanilla cream. See, that one I'd say is spot nose. It has a real different, real defined pattern, where the others have kind of a, have an open pattern here. This is a real defined pattern. I think that's spot nose. Let me see if I can fish his head out. Oops. I bumped my camera here. All right. Oh, come on. Let's just burrow one down in there. There it is. Oh, I saw it for like half a second. I'll have to review the video and see. You know what? That's pretty. Wow. I think that's spot nose. I don't know though. Don't know without seeing it, but I'm really happy with my odds now because now we have three to four really nice vanilla cream clowns. And uh, that's really beating the odds. I'm really happy with that. And only one super fire. Wow. That's like a spot nose. Fire, yellow belly. I don't think it's vanilla cream. But I kick. Yeah, and I'm, I'm just so kind of shocked by some of these. I can't rule that out either. No, I don't think it's vanilla cream. But look at that head. Wow. Okay, really excited about all these. Really good odds. Awesome vanilla creams. Fantastic clutch. Okay, so here they are, the vanilla cream clowns. We have some really cool combos. This one was vanilla cream, yellow belly clown. We actually had two of these. Um, both of them could be OD as well. I kind of don't see OD in them. I think we just hit vanilla cream yellow belly clowns, honestly. They turned out so cool. They're so rusty red. Now anything vanilla cream tends to kind of ring her up. See the ringers there on the tail. They tend to do that. Anything vanilla cream tends to do that in general. You see it has a very, very white belly, almost like a pied. We had one het in the clutch. And the amazing thing to me is how similar the het looks to the visual clown version. So this is vanilla cream yellow belly het clown, vanilla cream yellow belly clown. Look how they're almost identical coloration. The difference is the het has a stripe down the back here and the clown version of course has that clown back, black back. So interesting how you have almost the same animal. The heads of course are different with the clown head. These two wanted to really stay balled up for some reason but the clown head versus the non-clown head Really cool how, how they turned out. Then we have what I think is a star of the clutch simply because it's something I've wanted to see for a long time. And this guy really is being shy. Look at that ringer, so white. It's not an indicative of pied at all when you have ringers and vanilla cream stuff. Just vanilla and fire together just says to do that. So, all right, all unwrapped, here he is, or she, it's a girl actually. The very first spot nose vanilla cream clown. And I really like it because it tightened up the pattern a little bit. It doesn't have as much red in it compared to the regular vanilla cream clown. You see the difference here. In a way, I kind of miss all that red, but I love the tight pattern it has. I like the fact that it's just kind of cracked up and everything. Cool head pattern, cool ringer. I don't think this one's yellow belly. There's no, although it has some flames and stuff at the very at the bottom, anything spot nose with yellow belly tends to flame up so huge that you would really, really be hard to misidentify yellow belly in the snake. I don't think it has it. Really, really, really need to finally see this combo and just add it to the repertoire of what we make going forward.
So those are the vanilla cream clowns. Hope you enjoyed that. They're really, really cool how it brings in so much red and so much really weird pattern. There's so much to do kind of along that vein, I think, in the future. We'll keep working with it, figure out how to manipulate the pattern, maybe bring out even more color. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to like and subscribe and keep following. We're bringing a lot of new content in the new year. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.